Hey, welcome back to the channel. So as promised, here is my full tutorial on how to uh, install the official Steam support on your Chromebook. If you haven't seen my other video yet, I'll put a link up at the top and down in the description. It has some sample gameplay and gives you a little more uh, information about the requirements. But real quick, the requirements are on the screen right now. Right now, you need to have one of these Chromebooks in order for this to work. It's an 11th gen uh, Intel processor, either an i5 or i7. So you have to have an i5 or i7. It's not going to work on i3 with like four gigs of RAM. Uh, they are working on support for 12th generation uh, Intel processors. I have a Acer Chromebook Spin 714 that's 12th gen, and I'll do some testing on that once I get access to that. But for right now, we're talking about the 11th gen Chromebooks that are on the screen right here. So let's get into this. All right, so jumping into this, I just want to let you know I'm using an Acer Chromebook Spin 713, uh, but this is, this process is the same of any of those Chromebooks that I listed previously. So the first thing we need to do is get our Chromebook into the developer channel. Now this is not developer mode where it wipes out your machine and puts you you know puts it at somewhat risk. This is the developer channel for the operating system. So. Uh, it's, you're not going to lose your data when you switch to the channel, but if you decide to switch back, you will lose your data. So keep that in mind. So all we're going to do is we're going to go into settings here and we're going to go to about Chromebook, additional details, and then we're going to go to channel and change channel. Now yours is going to be unstable. Most likely if you recently got it or you haven't changed this yet, all you need to do is click on developer and then um, hit the OK. I've already done this, so there's just cancel. And then what that's gonna do is that's gonna go and uh, update your Chrome OS to the developer channel, the latest version that's in the developer channel. So let it do that, and then you're gonna restart your Chromebook. That's gonna take just a few minutes, and then come back, and we'll continue on with this tutorial. Okay, so you put your Chromebook into the developer channel. It's installed and rebooted. So now we need to set a flag for the operating system. We're gonna go and just launch a browser and then type in Chrome colon slash slash flags. Now, once you get into here, you wanna look for this Borealis enabled. You can type in the search up at the top, just type in Borealis, look for the one that says enabled and then uh, just switch it from default to enabled. Um, it's going to go and set that up. It's going to say it needs to restart your Chromebook and it you'll just see the screen flash black and then it comes back and you're essentially restarted at that point. And then we can go on to the last step. All right. So the last step in this tutorial is to open up the terminal and we have to put in the token that's going to install Steam for us. Now, the way you do that is you hit the control alt and T key that opens up a terminal here. And then I'll have this link down in the description. Just copy it and paste it into the terminal. It's just insert coin vault here and then this uh, alphanumeric uh, numbers. And then you just hit enter. Now I already have mine installed. So it says success. Yours is going to say installing Steam. It's going to go through the install process. It takes a few minutes. Just let it go through and uh, install and do its thing. Uh, once it installs, it's going to come to a login screen, just like any other Steam installation, and you can log in. Okay, so we have Steam installed on our Chromebook, and if you just want to play games with Linux support, you're good to go. You don't need to do anything else other than install it. Now, there are some games that are a little quirky. You may have to add uh, switches on or make changes in the launcher. One of those games is Seven Days to Die. I talked about that in that other video I mentioned, but basically you just have to uh, set it to use Vulkan instead of OpenCL and disable the anti-cheat, and then it launches no problem. So just be aware of that. There's some quirkiness with some of the games, um, but once it launches, it runs great. Now, if we go to my library, you can see that I have a couple of, you know, a few games in here, like Seven Days to Die in Valheim have uh, Linux versions, like they're officially supported on Linux, but obviously No Man's Sky is a Windows only game. So now we need to set up Steam to play those Windows games if that's something that you wanna do. All you need to do, it's super easy. You just click on the Steam menu on the left-hand corner, upper left-hand corner here, go to settings, and then in the list on the left-hand side, just hit Steam Play, 
and you wanna make sure that both of these checkboxes are checked. One is enable Steam Play for supported titles, make sure that's checked, and one is enable Steam Play for all other titles. Now what this means is there's some titles that are certified to work with Steam Play and some that aren't, but just because they aren't doesn't mean they don't work. If you wanna give it a shot with anything, just uh, make sure that both of these are checked, click OK, it's gonna restart Steam, and then when it comes back up, you're ready to install those Windows games just like any other game. So we're all done. At this point, we're ready to play games with uh, Linux support and some games with Windows support. Uh, I'll just show you, I'll go in launch Valheim here. And it launches just like on any other computer and it actually works really well on here. I'm gonna do some in-depth testing on some other games and if there's any games that you wanna see, let me know if you have any questions or comments about this tutorial, let me know down in the comment section below. And as soon as I get access and I'm allowed to post the uh, token for the 12th generation Chromebooks, 12th generation Intel Chromebooks. I'll do another video as well and walk through that process. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.